Hi guys, I will explain the quantity and the ply steel part 3 from direction of ply steel to summary. Here I have a quiz for you. What is the correct description about the ply steel? Number 1. Ply steel changes the heading direction to the other side when the front tires are turned on the rims. Number 2. Ply steer doesn't change the heading direction uh, when the front tires are turned on the rims. Ply steer relies on stiffness symmetry with respect to the circumferential midplane of tire. If the entire tire belts don't have this symmetry, belts are twisted in the tire contact patch. On the other hand, ply steer can also be produced by asymmetric tire tread block. You cannot change the, the lateral force direction due to ply steer by turning the tire on the rim. As shown in the picture, the twisting direction due to ply steer is the same even after tire turns on the rim. You can notice that the direction of oblique line here uh, do not change even after turning 180 degrees, like this. The main reasons producing ply steer, ply steer will be explained in the upcoming videos. This graph shows the typical distribution for conicity. A vertical axis shows a number of tires, and the horizontal axis shows lateral force. This direction is plus lateral uh, value, and this direction is minus force value. A distribution of conicity goes different tire by tire. Uh, for example, tires per car A uh, shows a green distribution. Tires per car B uh, shows blue distribution, and tires per C uh, shows red red distribution, and so on. Uh, this graph uh, shows the typical distribution of a ply steer. Distribution of ply steer also goes different tire by tire. For example, tires per car A uh, shows a green distribution, tires per car B shows blue distribution, and tires per car C it shows the red distribution and so on. This graph shows both distributions of ply steer and the conicity all together. Average lateral force due to conicity distribution is near to zero, but the standard deviation goes bigger than that of ply steer. Uh, this is the characteristic of manufacturing. On the other hand, average uh, lateral force uh, due to ply steer distribution is a bit away from uh, zero compared with the depth of conicity. Uh, but the standard deviation is smaller than the depth of conicity. Uh, this is the characteristic of design. Radial tire has a laminated plate structure of cap ply, steel belts, body plies, and so on, as shown in the picture. Among them, steel belts have the highest stiffness. Therefore, stiffness belts are main elements to be focused on in the ply steel study, especially the stacking order of high stiffness plates is important. The reason for this will be explained in the next videos. The cord of steel belt has an angle uh, with respect to longitudinal x-axis. Clockwise uh, from the positive x-axis uh, makes the positive angle and the counterclockwise from the positive x-axis makes negative angle. Answer to the quiz is 
Number two, price tier doesn't change the heading direction uh, when the front tires are turned on the rims. As a summary, price tier doesn't change the heading direction when the front tires are turned on the rims. Statistical distribution shows the lateral force due to the conicity has a low average value and high standard deviation because it comes from manufacturing quality. Price tier has the positive tendency to conicity because it comes from design accuracy. Steel belts with high stiffness are main elements to be focused on in the price tier study. If you watch the previous videos, you can easily understand upcoming videos. In the previous video, E28, I explained the introductory part of quantity and the price tier. Recently, I explained the relationship between direction of quantity and tire deformation. The next video is Price Tier Part 4. You can catch the brand new video by pre-subscription. So, what are you waiting for? See you next video. Goodbye, guys.